Welcome back guys to another amazing episode of Christianity over Islam with St. Shaman and I think this is one of the most beautiful conversations of St. Shaman we will ever watch this conversation on Jesus. Let's watch this amazing video. These are the words that Jesus uttered when he was on earth and they're recorded by his followers who saw him and heard him or their disciples. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you some of his words. Jen, you tell me what you think of the words of this person in light of what you've heard from the Quran or any other scripture. Mm -hmm. So let me just get them up for you because there's a few. And I want you to see the beauty and power and the love and the authority from the words of Jesus, right? Yeah, I, I, I just going to say this quick. I saw a video uh, where you were talking to a guy on TikTok. Uh, no, I don't remember his name or anything, but he was a Muslim and then yeah. uh, he, you helped him leave Islam. Yep. And when he started reading that verse, I, I started sobbing. This was just a couple of hours right, ago. Right? I cried so bad. So yeah. His name is Joseph, and I can tell you, he and his mother are going to church. They're faithfully going to church and worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. The man Joseph, who was a Muslim, yeah. was deceived. So he's now growing in his love for Jesus Christ. He and his mother together are fall in love with Jesus. May the Lord preserve them. Yeah. But now let me read some verses for you, right? Yes. All things have been handed over to me by my father. It's Jesus speaking in the Matthew, yeah. Gospel of Matthew, written by one of his disciples. No one knows the son except the father. See, nobody knows who I am except my father knows me as I am. Yeah. Nor does anyone know the father except the son. And likewise, no one knows who my father is except me and anyone to whom the son wills to reveal him. So he's saying, do you want to know God? You have to come to me because I'm the only one who can make God known to you. So then look at his invitation. Now he invites, come to me. Now he's saying, since I'm the only one who can make God known, now I'm giving you an invitation. Come to me, all you who are weary and heaven laden, all you are tired, burdened with life, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. If you're tired with life, you're tired because you don't know what the purpose of your life is. And nothing's going your way. And all the people in your life are disappointing you. Jesus says, come to me. I am gentle. I won't hurt you. I won't push you away. I won't insult you. I won't throw your past in your face. I'm not that kind of person. They'll remind you of your past and make you feel bad. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you rest. I'm here to give you peace. I'm here to show you you are valuable and that I love you. I'm here to give you rest. And I will never shame you. That's what he's saying. Hmm. And then he goes on to say this. Watch this. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. I won't make it difficult. The world will make it hard for you. Satan will make it hard for you, but I won't make it hard for you. And no matter how hard the world makes it, I'll be there to lift you and carry you because I won't leave you alone. But you have to come to me. Okay? That's one mm -hmm. promise. Can I give you a few more promises? Yeah. <laughs> watch here. Because I want you to hear his words, how beautiful these words are. No yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling it. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very beautiful. Um, because I'm, no man has spoken... The way jesus has spoken right but let me show you not, not that um uh, lovely like uh, how do you say it like it was very very kind words like um, very he was kind and loving and compassionate to those who are broken those who are depressed those who are sad those who are misused and mistreated but he was very stern and mean to those who thought they were better and self-righteous <laughs> See, this is how when someone thought he was better and high and mighty, Jesus rebuked them and insulted them, put them in their place. But someone that was broken and depressed and sad and oppressed by people and looked down upon, he was nothing but love and gentle. He would never harm them. So even mm. I think about it, mm. I start crying. You know that? Mm. He never shamed. He never hurt. He never... <clears throat> Yeah, it's um, um, I can't even. He never humiliates someone who's been hurt, depressed, beaten, and left to feel worthless. He never hurt those people, he loved them, and he healed them, and he made them feel 
precious and valuable. <clears throat> That's my Lord Jesus. Oh my. <laughs> and not like this. No, I know me neither, but Jesus does that. He makes grown men cry. But here, let me read. Uh, John 11, 23 to 27. Watch this. This is him speaking. Martha was crying because she lost her brother. She loved her brother and he was dead. <clears throat> so she was heartbroken. And when she heard Jesus came, he, she ran to him. She goes, Lord, had you been here, my brother would not die. Yet even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. And this is what Jesus says to her. Look at his words. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. He's trying to give her comfort. Martha, don't be heartbroken. Your brother will rise again. <clears throat> Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus said to her, now look at these words. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And he, everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. But then he asks a question. Ever. You'll never die if you believe in me. Then he asks her a question. Do you believe this? So he's asking Martha, Martha, I know who I am. I'm the resurrection and the life. Anyone who loves me, trusts in me, they can never die. Because I can never die. I live, they will live, but I need to know, do you believe me and trust my word? So he's not just saying it to her, he's saying it to me and you. So now he's speaking to you, Michaela. Mm -hmm. Michaela, you're hearing my words, yeah. but do you believe <laughs> what I'm saying to you? Watch your answer. Look what she says. She said to him, yes, Lord. I have believed that you are the Christ, the Son of God. The one who comes into the world. Yes, I believe. And if you believe, you will receive and believe. Now why? Alright guys, let me give you a background story of what is actually happening. Um, this lady came on board after watching a video of an ex-Muslim that is now called Joseph. As she was watching uh, watching this, this, this video of the young man as she was quoting some verses of the bible and she said she started crying and then some shaman offered to give her a more some more scriptures uh, that are more and uh, should i say cool so he started giving her some background story of uh, of jesus and the word of jesus and like uh, come to me all who who are tired and heavy laden and he's also talking about uh, jesus going to be the resolution and uh, let's watch this amazing video to get more details this too i'm going to show you some other things from our lord okay yeah <clears throat> john 14 27 i got a few more for you before you leave i don't want you to leave until you hear this john 14 27 1633 and i'll watch i'm going to give you a few more john 14 27 look what he says here his promise again this is his promise okay because he knows the world is hell it's going to beat you down it's going to make you sad it's going to make you miserable but look at his promise peace i leave with you michaela my peace i give to you not as the world gives do i give you because the world will give you false peace relationship yeah, you, maybe not, right? you know that yeah the world will promise you peace, but end up misery. A guy will promise to love you only to dump you, right? Isn't that the truth? Yes. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's saying, I'm not giving you the peace the world gives you because the world's peace is temporary and it's fleeting and it's deceptive. It doesn't last. My peace will always preserve you and will fill you, but you have to trust in me. Do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be fearful now watch what he says in john 16 33. i'm gonna leave you with one more after this all right john 16 33. see no man has spoken these words because no man can speak these words because jesus is more than a man he's god in the flesh now watch this i love this too he he never lies jesus never lies he tells you the truth how it's going to be in this world because this world has fallen it's evil they're evil people they're satan so he tells you straight up. He goes, these things I have spoken to you so that in me, now notice, you have to be in me, meaning you have to trust in me. You have to believe in me. You have to talk to me. You have to follow me. 
learn my teachings try to act upon them because this is only yours when you're in me in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation the world's going to make it hell for you but you got to stay connected to me and i swear to you he says if you stay connected to me take courage i have overcome the world he's saying michaela the world's going to put you through hell but i swear to you because jesus cannot lie and it's going to bring me to the final passage he cannot lie he says i swear to you you remain in me the world cannot destroy you because i have crushed and destroyed the world no matter what the world does to you i will be there <clears throat> and i will embrace you in my arms keep you close to my heart my bosom and fill you with my peace but you have to be in me john 16 33 now the final ones i want to give you yes final one my watcher john 14 verses 1 to 6. now notice how beautiful his promises are now look what he promised us who believe all right if you believe okay Michaela, may the lord help you understand and focus all right yeah i'm uh, i'm really trying to focus it's hard, but um i i hear every word so I'm, I'm just if i'm quiet it's not because i'm no not no listening. no i know you are but i know satan's going to try to sack you but by the blood of jesus christ you will be shielded and covered to not be distracted because this one saying likes to distract uh oh michaela is now falling over jesus i got to do something that's how he works i know his strategy yeah now watch this all right look what the lord says john 14 1 to 6 okay he's speaking not only to the side speaking to us these words written for us so he's saying to you and i do not let your heart be troubled stop worrying about the world stop worrying about your circumstances stop worrying about your financial issues stop don't let it trouble you believe in god believe also in me now look his promise in my father's house are many dwelling places if it were not so i would have told you if there wasn't any dwelling place for you i would have told you i can't lie i don't lie now watch what he says right if we're not so i would have told you for i go to prepare a place for you he's not just talking to them he's talking to all of us so he's saying michaela i have a place prepared for you if you will believe now watch his promise and if i go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am there you will maybe also so he's promising when death comes when it's were time to die Jesus has sworn he won't lie Michaela I promise you when the time comes for you to leave this world on the other side of that door I'll be there welcoming you in and bringing you to your home I cannot lie. I'm preparing a place for you. There is a home in heaven, this great city, and it has Michaela written on it. That's your home. No one can take it from you. I built it for you because remember, Jesus is a carpenter. On earth, he's a carpenter. In heaven, he's a carpenter. He's building homes. The carpenter's son, he's a building home, and he's got a name with, with writ, written on it, Michaela. And when death comes, if the Lord doesn't return, Death comes to you and me, the door will open, and on the other side, <clears throat> on the other side of glory. Lord, have mercy on me, forgive me. On the other side of glory will be my Lord. <clears throat> Telling me, come home, son. Sam. <clears throat> you finished the race. It's, um, it's very beautiful oh, he's, be he's beautiful he's beautiful may the lord forgive me when i feel him. i love the lord i don't want to feel him. but anyway then he says thomas said to him lord we do not know where you're going how do we know the way jesus said to him i am the way and the truth and the life michaela i am your life if you believe in me you'll never die i cannot lie i speak the truth so what i'm telling you is the truth and i am the way home i've come to take you home no one comes to the father but through me and then finally this is the lord speaking to you and me finally watch how beautiful this is 
And I'll leave you with this, and you know where to find me on Skype. Now start yeah. reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but finally, John 14, 18 to 19. Look at his promise to you, to you and me, right? He says, I will not leave you as orphans. Michaela, you're not an orphan. Though your father and mother have abandoned you, you have me. And you have my father, who's your father. And you have a heavenly family. I'm not going to leave you an orphan. I will come to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me because he's in heaven physically. But you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. See, Jesus cannot die. And he says, if you believe in me, you cannot die. And I will come home. I will come to bring you home. These are the words of Jesus to you. Yeah, it was so. <laughs> I oh, love sorry. No, you don't. You never be sorry. Never apologize. Jesus is in love with you, and He makes even men cry. That's how beautiful He is. So He loves you. I can tell you, because Jesus cannot lie. He's in love with you. He's in love with me. No matter how much I fail, He'll never fail me, and I'll never fail you. He loves you, and He's telling you, "I'm waiting, Michaela. I have a home with your name on it, and I'm waiting for you. You just..." Tell me, and I'll rush to embrace you with my arms and hold you tight like my baby girl. Like my baby girl holds you tight to my chest. He loves you, okay? So just keep reading now. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start with Matthew and Luke and read. And I'm on Skype anytime you have more questions. All right, sister? Yes. All right, so I hope thank that helped you. you. And yeah, I'll thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you uh, a lot. I'm, I'm not in a state talking right now. So I'm, no, it's okay. Uh, but I'm cry crying. your heart. Now when you let go, get on your knees and talk to him. Cry yeah. from your heart. I love you, Jesus. And he will show himself because he loves you, Michaela. He loves you. And I mean that he loves you. He cannot lie. All right? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, I hope yes, I'm so happy that we... Got to talk at you uh, you're racing uh, that's uh okay, god bless so we'll you talk. thank you so thank much you. god bless take care take care jesus makes grown men cry right how do you read those words and not start crying like a baby so glory to god glory to the father son holy spirit those were the words those were the words that my lord used and uttered in my ear uttered in my ear when the body of my mother was being buried in the ground when my mother Hinina she passed away March 12 2014 a Wednesday and as they took the body of that woman as they took the body of that woman that had given birth to me. <clears throat> and they lowered her body into the ground. The words of my master, the words of my Lord <clears throat> rang in my ears. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he who believes and lives shall never die. Do you believe this? Our Lord is alive. Jesus is alive. Because Jesus lives, I know I will see her again. I know this. I know I will hear her voice again. I know I will hear her call me by name. She used to call me Hasmaso. Hasmaso. She was the only one that did. I know the day will come when it's my time to go and I pray I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb and sealed by the Spirit. And I never shame my Lord. In glory, I will hear her with her voice yell to me, Hasmaso. I will hear her call my name again. Because my Lord lives, she lives. So, wow, wow, wow! Welcome back, guys. I think that was emotional.
was an emotional moment. I fought tears. You know, I, at some point, some shaman started crying, and one of the most beautiful things is coming to the knowledge of the truth. And uh, this lady, she is an ex-Muslim. And then she was watching a, a video where a young Muslim, some shaman, converted to Christianity. And she said, the verse of the Bible she, the guy was reading, she, she, she doesn't know why, but she started crying. So when she came on the show, some shaman started giving her some verses of what Jesus said. Uh, most especially when he said, come to me, all you who are tired and heavy laden, and I will give you a rest. And then... Uh, he say, my peace I give to you, not as the world give. In me, you will have peace. In the world, you will have so many tribulations. So the lady, she broke down and she started crying and some shaman alongside her. And they, they cried. I think this, it, this is one of the most emotional videos of some shaman I've ever watched. To be honest with you and uh, if you are a muslim watching this i don't know what is holding you back i don't know what is holding you back from this truth this is life in itself jesus said he is the way the truth and the life you have no life if you are not in jesus i don't know what is holding you back uh, guys thank you this i don't know i'm just lost of words thank you for watching our videos Please don't forget to share, to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you.